Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing something a little different and I think it is a little interesting. I'm gonna be comparing um, two eyeliners. Now one is high-end and one is drugstore. I'm gonna put one on one eye, one on the other, and I'm gonna compare them to see if the higher end is actually worth the price point or if the drugstore is just the same and is just as good and maybe skip on the high end and go with the drugstore. Now, as you guys can see, I do have my makeup on. I attempted to do this braid, so don't mind this braid. Um, it's horrible, but it is what it is. I'm not good at braids. I tried, and yeah, I don't know if it's working. <laughs> like I said, um, I do have my makeup on already, and I'm just going to put one on one eye, one on the other, and we're going to compare the two. So, if you do want to see if it's worth buying the high end or just stick with the drugstore, then just keep watching. Now, the ones that I do have are the So Intense Eyeliner in Deep Black by Sicily, and I also have the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner. So this actually retails for $70. Yes, yes, you heard me right, $70. And this retails for, I believe it's around $8 or so. I'm going to link it down below for you guys or put it somewhere here on the screen. I'm not really sure off the top of my head. But I actually got mine off beautyspin.com and the Sicily retails for $36 and the Maybelline Master Precise retails for like $4.46 or something in that category. Again, I will link it either down below. But $36 is still a lot of money for eyeliner, so I definitely wanted to see if it was worth it so yeah um let's just get right into it because I am really interested to see if this works so on my right I'm gonna be doing the Maybelline and on my left I'm gonna be doing the Sicily right off the bat I do like the Sicily packaging a little bit more than the Maybelline it's just a little nicer it's a little heavier and you could just tell right off the bat it is a little more money now is it worth the $70 I don't know that's what's inside the packaging and that's why we're going to be doing the comparison they are both felt tips the Sicily one is a little thicker smaller and it has a point but it's not as pointy as the Maybelline now the Maybelline you could tell is a little longer it's a little pointier but it's also a little thinner. I'm going to go into the Maybelline first. Like I said, it's going to be on my right side. Let me see if I can bring you guys in a little closer. Okay, so I'm going to just outline my eyes. I'm going to see if I can wing it out a little bit. It's pretty easy to wing out my eyes. It's just, it feels a little dry. May have went a little crazy in that corner. It was pretty easy to outline my eyes. It's pretty easy to wing out my liner. Um, at first, it was a little like dry and it was really hard to get the color out. But after the color did come out, it's pretty black. And honestly, it looks really good. It's really nice. I like it. So I'm going to let it dry, see how it works out. Um, I did go a little crazy in the corner and it did bleed out just a little bit. But that's okay because it happens. Um, we could always go back later on and fix that. So now we're going to try the really expensive one on the left side. So I have to say, both of these are almost identical. They are basically the same thing. I know the Sicily retails for like $70, but you could get it at Beauty Spin for $36. Is it worth the $70? I personally don't feel like it is. Is it worth the $36? I would definitely pick it up for $36. The Maybelline is really good. Um, honestly, I liked how the Maybelline applied. I liked how precise it was. It was so easy to get that like really defined pointy look and pointy 
pointy edge and wing your line out. Um, the only thing is at the beginning when I first applied it, it was a little hard to get the color out, but once the color came out, it was really easy to apply. It didn't seem to bleed out too much. The only part where it did bleed out a little bit was like in the corner of my eye. It's pointier than the Sicily one. It also is a little stiffer, so I feel like it was a lot easier to get in there and get that like really precise, even um, look and that really thin line compared to the Sicily one where the tip is a little um, more flexible. It's not as stiff as the Maybelline one. It also is not as pointy and it's also a little thicker. So I feel like that's easier to get a thicker line. If you're a beginner, the Sicily one would probably be a little harder compared to the Maybelline one. I didn't see any bleeding out with the Sicily one compared to the Maybelline one. But again, it was so minimal. I don't think it's like a big deal. I don't think it would be a problem throughout the day. They're both really intense in color, so I feel like they're on the same level in that aspect. I feel like for the $36 at Beauty Spin, it's a really good price point if you like luxurious brands or you just want to like kind of spoil yourself. Well, the Maybelline one is still really great, and I feel like this is amazing. I feel like it's on the same level as the Sicily one, and it's more accessible to people. It's also more affordable. You could find it at any drugstore. You could find it online, but again, at Beauty Spin, it is like for something so yes it is a drugstore and it is more affordable everywhere but at beauty spin it's even more affordable so i definitely pick it up there you know i feel like everyone needs this maybelline in their life i feel like the drugstore did what the high end can do so that wraps it up i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do like the high end versus drugstore please let me know in the comments down below also if you have something that you want me to compare from high end to drugstore also let me know in the comments and i would love to do it for you so I hope you guys did like this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Come join our little YouTube family here. We would love to have you and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.